up? Today we have an open casket. It's season one, episode two of The Haunting of Hill House. Not House on the Haunted Hill. It's really easy to confuse <laughs> the two. I just call it H H H Triple H. Uh, like, uh, no, uh, somebody like spelled it T H O H H, and I read it like thought today on our live stream. <laughs> thought. I was like, what thought? <laughs> yeah, we get together every night in the quarantine, watch a thought on Netflix. Yeah. Watch a thought or two. And it's been good so far. I mean, I obviously, it takes me a while to get used to character names and shit. So sometimes I end up asking the crew, like, hey, who's that guy's name again? What was yeah. it? Yeah. But I, I do think the story is very engaging. It's plots moving forward. So. Let's get, I don't know, let's get to it. What do you guys think? Uh, uh, I've never seen this episode. I'm excited to see what it's about. I literally have no speculation. Yeah, this is and the I first time me and Chris will be blind watchers. The, we just, Yay! we saw the first episode a long, long time ago and we couldn't watch anymore because we were spooked. It's spooky. Okay, nice. guys, like, okay, the last episode. Were you saw, fucking with us? Yeah, were you yeah, fucking with us, Chris? They? No, why do you think I was fucking with hey, you? Hey, Chris, Chris, because of you, I didn't sleep until maybe like <laughs> 4 or 5 o'clock, okay? 4 or 5 that o'clock. That wasn't my fault. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, but seriously, I'm excited to see what the fuck is up with Nell, the ghost sister now, and that fact that Steve can finally see ghosts and he'll have his own story. Oh, shit. Damn, I yeah. forgot about that. Oh, god damn, you brought that shit back to me. God damn it. I did, I did, I did. So let's go into this, guys. I'm really excited, but really scared. My cat's here. I'll, I'll be okay. All right. Hey, remember, this is not a market substitute for The Haunting of Hill House. Watch it on Netflix, borrow your cousin's ID, and uh, like ID. this video if you're enjoying this. <laughs> you can check us out on Patreon, support for the uncuts and early access to this show and many more. And I am <laughs> rocking the full quarantine bush this evening. My hair, my <laughs> hair is everywhere. My... <laughs> My bush is just in full bloom. All right. Well, well my my world cock is pulled up oh, ready and hard. I gotta do my world cock. My bad. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's that 303 again. Open castle. Is that it's a great chance to take all those pictures in your head of grandma in the hospital or grandma without her hair or teeth or anything else in your imagination and cover it all up with a better picture. First, we give her a bath, make mm. sure she's clean. Then we put special chemicals in so she stays fixed forever. Then put her in her favorite and embalming fluid so when I'm done, of course she would get grow up to have this fucking job just like you right i didn't know they pumped stuff I'm in you, yeah they did they cleaned the system. it's formaldehyde baby they put formaldehyde inside of you so this Whoops, is stuff I like i almost said embalming like, fluid it's, it's formaldehyde <laughs> no your house is like a person's body the walls are like bones needs to breathe, needs light and flow. Oh, I like that. When we finish fixing up this house and sell it for a lot of money, then we're gonna build a forever house. Mom is beautiful. Mama spitting. Mommy, do you please have a tea party with me? Aww. Sweetheart, I'd love to have a tea party with you, but I have to finish working, I'm afraid. But I'm drawing immaculate pieces to the human that? heart. She's gonna go have nuts. Good look? Uh-huh. Don't forget the hole. Light splash. Man, what if your back is so oh, porcelain you don't see it? I mean, but you get two chances, so be honest. Right. Then, then you become a drug mm. abuser. Hey. Oh, oh shit. This drawing, oh, no. this drawing. Get the fuck out of here. That master key you had didn't work. Do you have any other ideas about that, that red door upstairs? Oh, right now. Not, not, not that one. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> has has anyone used you. that door? I would have I would have asked a follow up or two. There's a symmetry? <laughs> oh, she's gonna get something weird on the film. Mm -hmm. That's what I've been thinking this whole time. Like, probably behind every one in every picture. I swear Don't something's gonna show go up in the pictures, there. watch. Is that a cat, son? Oh, it's a little kitty. Oh, oh little kitties. Son. They're possessed. Mommy. Don't fuck mm -hmm. with it. Hey. Those cats are haunted. Oh, don't take a picture! Oh, what the fuck was that? 
the fuck was that? No. no. Are you gonna do it again? Do it again. No. You What's wrong it. with you? God. Oh, oh my God. Was that a person inside? Like pa paper mache? It wasn't what is person. It's a face. It's terrifying. It's okay. It's okay. No man, they did this to me when I was a kid. You don't don't show kids shit like that. It ain't okay, bro. That shit. You gotta show them so that they aren't scared of stuff. Why does the wasp nest look like a face by some baby kitties? Right. Not since that night in 1952. I need a costume I can wear to Austin's party. That's a crap project. Try it. Watch out for the. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Charm. She has worked on the Forever House. I just want to drop these off. There's some jewelry in here. Pictures of mom. Like your ass. Your wife's definitely. Oh. Oh! The fuck oh my god, this is bullshit! She just told her son ghosts aren't real. Ghosts are real, lady. Without an insurance policy, it's six thousand a month, Boom. and we do recommend four to six months a minute. Good lord, this is for Lou. Sorry, the first month for sure, and I can come back in two weeks with some more. Ugh, fuck, man. No, I it obviously didn't work. I'm gonna need a UA. What? Urine analysis. How dirty. It's gross. Inappropriate. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I would drop kick that little girl straight across the fucking living room. I would drop room. kick both of them. Just enough and you drop a little on their nose. Because their eyes are not These baby cat noises is driving Gobi wild. What do you want? I don't even know. Are you baiting on the wall? I, I'm not. You are. You're calling my name. What is this? What do you want? No. Hey! Oh hell no 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 no! How long do you say what is that for before you take off? Hey, what, what's with the screaming? Did you hear that? What's that? What was what? There were these kids laughing all over the walls. I didn't hear it. Ghosts just gas like people. So the voices on all the sounds are observed just in the head, and I can't hear them. It's a oh! Oh, oh, yeah! oh my god! God. No. I just scared my cat. Oh, they gotta do it, man. That dad already looks creepy as fuck. Why would they do that? No. Oh shit. I feel like I did the easy right now. I wish you guys were here. Amira, come here, please. Who told you this? Dad called me. Damn it. I want him to tell her what she saw. She's in shock. She wouldn't call him. She was gone. I told you she was in trouble. I told you to find her. I told you. Uh, she just got the call too. Good morning. No. Are what they fucking they dead? dead? One of them is. Wake up. Aww. I didn't sign up to see a dead baby kitty. Uh, it's upstairs. That looks like the you box that dude brought. You don't look for the cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's still cute, Pat. Man. Some people say it's a teaching moment, man. When we die, we turn into stories. And every time someone tells one of those stories, it's like we're still here. We're all stories in the end. We're all stories Isn't in the end. From somewhere? Nubby? I'm not sure what her name was. Because her brothers and sisters all look the same, but I think she was the one I called Jasper. Mm -hmm. It's a Doctor Who reference. I hope you have a safe trip to heaven. And when you get there, there's some nice yummy milk waiting. Whoa. Hello. Did you guys see her little chin move? She, she really is. Look, look. I know Honey, I know this. Her lips are moving. No, don't do that to me. Don't make this creepy. Please don't make this creepy. I can't look at this. No. Oh, oh God. 
You get out oh, of here. Oh. Ah. Yeah. That's Dude, the worst thing that could have happened. <laughs> I have averted my ass successfully. <laughs> Baby, can you? Fuck. Senator Carlisle, they do a great job. I think it's a bad idea, too. Honey. Let someone else do it. You need to focus on you. She's my sister. I'm hosting her funeral. That's that. Is it going to give everyone time? You mean Steven, Luke, Dad? Dad's reason Nell was so fucked up to begin with, and Luke's probably high as a kite. Thought he was in rehab. He was, apparently, until this morning. They said he flew the coop. No idea where he is. Does he even know that she's dead? No idea. If he doesn't, that's on him. He deserves to be here. You're not giving him time to get here. He missed her wedding. I'm not gonna let him miss her funeral, too. He has time, but I'm not leaving her in the freezer until Luke gets his shit together. I feel bad for Cheryl's husband. Just kind of caught up in the middle of this. What did he not want her to like host her sister's funeral, though? I mean, there's her sister. It's okay. I don't want to. If you don't, you'll be upset later. I promise. This is a good thing. You're a good boy. Y'all been no up a casket, right? Mmm, like a handful. I'm Maybe about four, five. It's gonna be okay, Sean. They don't want to see her. It's important. Look, even now he's up there. It's her mom. Oh, they just let go. No. She's just a little scared, I think. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, come with me. I don't I know like you. All right. Man, to see my mother for the last time. Instead of going with my father. Absolutely not. Cheryl, sure, she's fantastic. I promise you, you have nothing to worry about. I don't know her. You have to know someone to do the cosmetics. And restoration. The coroner ruled it suicide. And there's restorative work I've got to do. Sure. She was in that house for hours. Oh, um, she wants to work on her she own sister? Mother. In time it will take me to explain to you what to do with her. I can just do it myself. So I'm doing it myself. This is insane. Excuse us, please. What happened to Nell's husband then? I owe her. I'm doing it, Kevin. This ain't creepy at all. I gotta go. I'm sorry. I just can't. It's a bad idea. Let's take her down. I swear a bug's gonna come out of Nell's mouth now. Man, this shit is crazy. I don't know if you're, she's gonna get any closure out of this or what. Oh! Jesus God, fucking Christ. nothing like her. Are they still sleeping? Are they all dead? Oh uh, no. Of course. Those demons got him, man. Fuck, man, that's terrible. No. No, 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 no. Show sure. it again. Another fucking spy's gonna come out. <laughs> oh, God damn! <laughs> she just touched the phone with her dirty hands? She isn't. She's doing it herself. Kittens aren't supposed to be without their mommies. And no matter how much you love them. They're the kittens, and they're without their mom. I We found it in a new home. I hope you threw it in a lake. We have no idea what was wrong with those kittens. They were very sick. And we couldn't let you try to take care of them. was so sick. But you gave it to someone else. We... I don't believe you. So the kitten was still alive. Why would you give away the last one, the only one left? Just, just one. It's not fair. Just, just, it's not fair. Stop. Give her a fucking migraine. Again, man, this child actress that plays Shirley does a really good job. <laughs> She's on that lean. Cody. Would you have said you had to go to the woods and put this sick little kitten out of its misery? No, of course not, but it's a tough thing for a kid and we should... Look, she's going to have a pretty messed up view of death coming out of this no matter what. Which wouldn't have happened if you hadn't have... Go ahead anyway. Why the hell did you let her keep those kids? Well, I didn't know that they were all going to die. You let her keep a box of diseased kittens in 
her bedroom. And, and, and now she's okay, I mean, that's a good point, I guess. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> when you're a parent and Dude. you have those not so finest hours, you impact a kid's life. This doesn't seem very healthy, like, mentally, at all. No, no, not at all. No, it does not. Like, I don't, oh my. Very much old enough to be scarred for life. Well, that's it. Oh. It gets fucked forever. I know you're curious and sad. Is this like in her house? Go pick your favorite picture of Andy now from one of the albums. And I, I can hang it at the funeral. Bro, my nieces and nephews would be fucking bawling. That happened. I guess they weren't super close to Nell, but I was going to say, how do you think Shirley did teaching her kids about death compared to the way her parents did to her? She's being very open about it, man. Some might think too uh, open, but... She did pretty good. I mean, you can't be too kids. open. Kids, it was death. You gotta, might as well tell them, rip that band-aid off. I'm so excited. God. Oh, what a transition. I just wanted to make sure that I got to tell her that. She said he didn't. She did say that. I mean, look at him. You got the day pass? Yeah, yeah. They're very supportive. I paid for rehab. Guess who they called when you ran away last week? I just really want to be here for her. She thought about that trip with Neil in the army. Fuck. Here's a hundred. You shoot up the rest. I don't care. Jesus. Wow. Damn! Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> Called this shit earlier. That was Surely has the worst luck. No. That's what I did. That's when she decided what yeah. she wanted to be. That's what she said. Oh. No. Two? There's the mom that you want. You wanted. motherfucking. Why are you saying shit? Ah! Is she smiling? Ghosts just kind of seem like vindictive assholes. Like, fuck, why are you fucking with me? I'm gonna do shit to you. Fuck with the motherfucker that killed you and leave my ass alone. Oh, shit. God, bro. Why? There's somebody locked in the basement, y'all. Basement. Pick a sec. Was that the basement? Mm -hmm. That might have been a reference to a movie that some people have not seen. Makes my stomach turn. There was an after credit scene though. Korean basement. It was. Yeah, 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 yeah. Naruto shows there? up. And everything. Mm -hmm. Sakura picks up the. Oh, shut tree. up, man. <laughs> um. She did yeah, though in the man. filler. She, she did. <laughs> Um, hey, another good episode. Pat, yeah. you alright over there, buddy? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't what was in the box? Oh, what shit. was in the box at the end oh, that the mom had? The audio stopped. I I just, I, I, my eyes were closed the whole time. I didn't see it. It was nothing. It was just the made the meowing oh, sound. Uh, don't worry. I got the shotgun mic on the camera. Our, uh, okay. cam our uh, audio card got full and it stopped. Uh. But we got, a, we got decent camera audio, so we'll be alright. Cool. Yeah. Okay, no, dude. They, they, the mom showed up with like a kitten, yeah. with the kitten box that they buried when yeah. she was young, the first one. Man, dude, my heart's pounding. Right I know. Now. I wait. I, didn't, throw up. I didn't. I didn't see what was in there. It just like. It just went. Me. I I heard. But I uh, didn't see either. <laughs> it just meowed. Yeah. I That's it. They didn't show what oh, was in man. there. Oh man, you missed it. Man, oh, man, I never wanted to see ghost cats. That's scary. I never wanted to yeah. see a little baby cat dead and then hey, a beetle coming out so, of its mouth. Just say, hey, do you think yeah. ghosts is ever, do you think, you know, you know why ghosts are real? Because I feel like ghosts are real because every time when we get scared, they're haunting us. It, really? That's, that's kind of, I don't know, man. Yes. If a ghost is haunting my ass, I need him to pay rent Because that, 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 it's because you're, you're not scared, because, Chris. Because you're not that's, scared. that's no, 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 because any time Chris got scared, it was because of a ghost. Because in the, in the last in the last scene, well, that's what happened. When she turned the lights on, it went, it went away. I don't know, man. I think they're all just being haunted separately, no matter what, and it's followed them. 
So, like, yeah. there's a whole timeline of events, I guess. Like, Nell got married. Something must have happened to the husband because they haven't even, like, mentioned mm-hmm. getting in touch with him. Yeah, maybe they got a messy divorce or something. Yeah. And Luke, she said Luke didn't come to the uh, the Where wedding, like, but he, he showed up super high. I don't blame her for that one. That was, like... <laughs> So yeah, here, I mean it's it, it sucks because even it seemed like she wanted Luke there. I don't know. Luckily, I don't have that many siblings. If I did, I, I might roll the dice and be like, "All right, look. I mean, this is her special day, but I also know that she would want her whole family here. So, like, you can mm-hmm. come. But if you fuck up, like, you're my sibling. I've got the right to steal off on your ass. I ain't gonna do it in front of everybody. I'm gonna drag you up back and beat yeah. the shit out of you. <laughs> we can arrange something." <laughs> Yeah, she maybe so arrange an ass whooping. You're on heroin anyway. Yeah, but you'll be all right. Do you remember they mentioned in season but she one? Fucking I'm walked sorry. Out of rehab. In the she first episode, they mentioned that she was she had some mental issues. So I don't sure. know if maybe that's why they got divorced. No. Oh no. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, that's possible. That's possible. That's what I was saying. I think they got divorced because she started going down that road again, kind of thing. Yeah. Possibly. I, I am so interested maybe, at maybe. what constitutes the reason um, why they're being haunted. Because, and I know that, like, there's haunted houses, and, like, if you move in there, the ghosts are like, this is my house. But, like, I don't know. That shit just seems petty. <laughs> Goddamn ghosts. Get your fucking shit together. Like, want somebody that deserves it. So Hitler gets to run around this motherfucker, kill him whoever he wants. He ain't never got haunted. Ghost is fucking up, dog. <laughs> Maybe something did. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I really don't know. What what could Nell have done to deserve it? Though? Maybe because like the yeah. mom died just, there I think too. it's just like that house is just it's just just the way it is. Even the, what what's his name Connected Steven to them. He's like one thing he could never find was was a reason for everything happening. Yeah. Sometimes it's just like yeah. Maybe it's just it's just fuckery. Yeah. Sometimes yeah, it just it be is. like that. Also, I think it's scarier to think that it happens for no reason at all. Because yeah. then, you know what I mean? It's yeah. like, uh, yeah. it, because then you can't do anything about it, you know? That's what used to get me in the yep. old horror movies when it's just like, why is this happening? Just because it is, it motherfucker. Like, that's spirit. that's the absolute worst. So you're just like, oh, okay, so like, I'm getting fucking shit on right now, and there's a ghost of Freddy Krueger's up my ass just because I, you know, got the short straw. Yeah. No, <laughs> I, I agree. Because it, it, it's always like, oh, let's. It was just waiting for us to like burn the house or get rid of this like spirit that it was scorned by. Or, or, I, I don't know. Yeah. It's cooler when there's no easy solution to fix it. Yeah. But I do want to know what happened to the mom. Yeah. What happened to Nell? Just like yeah. the night that all this shit went down. You know, I want to. I want to yeah. see. I, I am glad that we're going through character by character. Like I, I hope. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was gonna say this was a Shirley um, episode. So we got to learn, like, why Shirley got into the funeral home uh, yeah. business, basically. Um, I remember one thing that caught my attention when they had the flashback to when they were kids and she discovered the kittens. Um, and uh, they were talking about the dogs. The guy that was there, was that the old Dudley? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He, he said that, yeah. Uh, yeah. He, he phrased something weird about he said, dark. me and the missus don't stay here after dark. Yeah, we don't stay on the grounds after dark. Yeah, yeah. so yeah, like, they, they specifically are not coming around after um, dark. No, no, yeah, no. When he was like, it's weird that the uh, cat mom would leave the kittens here so close to dark. Like he, he, that's the way he phrased it, and I was like, too dark. Well, who talks he means like, like that? I mean, people talk like that. Like, really? uh, yeah, close to dark. Like when, when, when close to dark. some people say it. Hmm. Maybe, maybe more like country. I've never or heard of that before. It's but regardless, dark outside. he don't fuck around with the dark over there. Yeah. And I think the weird, yeah. like, so there's ghost dogs? Like, I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm interested in the shit that goes down at the house. And also that loud banging, man. It, the other thing there's is, too, that, like, I, like, the ghost shit, man, is, like, they, uh, I don't know. It's like they're, like, gaslighting people. They just want to make you think you're fucking crazy. Like, banging on the walls. You're like, how does nobody else hear this? And mm-hmm. you're like, yeah, dog, no one heard that shit. Like, it's yep. just... That shit's petty, man. Like yeah. those kids are gonna be fucked. They're fucked because they lived in a house and they're fucked with whatever happened with their mom. And I think their dad didn't talk about it because he saw some like real <laughs> shit at the end and was like, "I can't tell my kids that like I saw my wife get possessed." Like, yeah. you know, what I mean, they'll never like. No, I'll, I'll go to fucking jail. Yeah. No one's gonna believe me if I say this shit. Yeah. It sucks because if they would just communicate with each other about what they're seeing, then they might know that some shit's really happening to them. You know, like Stephen was yeah. so close to saying. 
uh, that he saw Nell, but you know. But I mean, then she, nobody's she gonna believe him. Show. And I mean, like, yeah. I love all of you guys, but if you told me that you saw a ghost, I'd be like, I don't know, man. Maybe you're just fucking tripping. You didn't believe Pat's story, I bro. Did, bro. I did. Okay. Yeah, just, remember that kid? Remember that kid who's telling Shirley like at nighttime mm-hmm. he would see his grandmother and she was like a different color and she looked different and all that stuff. Bro, when I was a kid at nighttime, a uh, certain time I woke up, and that's when I would see the ghost. It was it looked all different, it didn't look human. So maybe Guys, it was like one of when my I was a kid, I saw aliens because that's what I was afraid of. So <laughs> I think that when you're a kid, your imagination is just playing tricks. On I you. wasn't hey, afraid. Corey, Corey said that Corey I said woke that up in the middle of the night. This, this this old this old guy. He's I think he's passed away now, but he was taking pictures of like these woods. I don't know where they were, but there was like empty woods. And he had like an Abraham mm. Lincoln hat or something. Like he would collect, like. He was really into war, he, like, war stuff. He was really into war stuff. He had an Abraham Lincoln hat. Anyway, this guy was taking pictures of like the empty woods by some property, and there was like four, five, or six the consecutive war. pictures of like just the regular woods, like you could just see it as it naturally would be, like around dusk. And then the last picture, there was like someone with a beard laying down on like a mound in front of the trees and then behind every single tree was like bodies and people sticking out and like looking out from trees and she said and Corey oh, said she oh. saw get the Corey said she saw look. that photo saw the picture. and like she saw the picture it was, and was a, like it was where a bunch of wars like it was where a bunch of wars were fought. It was like a war. Um, so sp- speaking of pictures, I was oh, I, like, I assumed that uh, when uh, what's her name? Shirley. Shirley, when she was taking all those pictures, that we would have been able to see a ghost on the pictures. But she was putting it in the album, and there were no go- n- no ghosts in the pictures. So yeah, that was a clever ruse because then it ended up being yeah. the scare was in the flash. Like mm-hmm. I didn't. Yep. I guess the that's wasp mask. Too, yeah. Oh, so I was going to say, you know, all those little kittens, all those little kittens died uh, because they didn't have their mom. And all of these kids are like sick and fucked up because they don't have their mom. Yeah. Mm. Did Nell, which They're all kind of fucked up. They're all pretty fucked up. One of them's on drugs. The other one wears gloves all the time, even after she fucks people like some weirdo. (laughs) The other one is willing to embalm her own sister. And the other dude is fucking ghost hunting around. I don't know, man. They're all a little fucked up. his own family. Yeah, they're all a little, they're all a little fucked up. And he never paid back his sister. What? Uh, uh, who was the kid that was laying down on the couch last episode, and and there was like a. Nell. Was that Nell or was that Shirley? Oh, mm-hmm. that was Nell. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, Little man. tiny Nell is so cute. Um. So yeah. Nell and Shirley saw. But, yeah, baby Nell is the cutest. And was, so, like, we got to see a lot of stuff in flashback. Like, you got to see Luke see the yeah. kid in the forest yeah. oh, in his yeah. drawing. So that's real. And then the banging of the walls, Shirley and Theo were the ones who saw the banging on the walls. And then Dad turned yeah. to Theo yeah. for a second. That was so scary. See, that, that was, I, like, literally jumped scared and so, like, jumped my Did that actually scared. happen? Or was she just... No, no it they, like she's that was... Uh, it. It, she was remembered. So, I think the banging actually happened. And then it just kept from, like... The dad, like she had a nightmare about her dad. Then at the same time, yeah. Uh, at that point, I just if I lived Maybe in a haunted house, I'd just start know, camping, man. be in a fucking yard in a tent, dog. Are these all just mental? I'll problems move. That they're having just I'm not camping out there. Fuck that. that. Just yeah. move. Like, they aren't really being haunted, but they're all just like suffering from severe post traumatic stress, or could be, man. I, I don't know. Yeah. Never hear about fucking homeless people getting haunted. No thanks. <laughs> ain't got homes. <laughs> um. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Surely, yeah. Shirley's an interesting character. I mean, I would never be able to work on no. one of my relatives. Oh, she shouldn't have done that. That yeah. was a oh, big good. mistake. Uh, but she was trying to. I mean, she's going to be fucked. So she's already so, fucked. Yeah. Like her, no. Shirley, she put the like, bad Shirley's juju on her now. Like, throughout her life, she was just taking care of the rest of her fucked up siblings. Like, she seemed to be the only one who had her shit together, had a little bit of extra money to help others, etc. Et um, and like every time she asks somebody to do something, like uh, she asks Steve to go and pick up um, Nell, he didn't do it, and now Nell is dead. So like, and that keeps happening. So she like she through her life she like 
figured out she has to do everything herself and mm -hmm. this is so important to her that she doesn't want to she doesn't trust people to do a good job she's a perfectionist you cut so. out the end there and also you know how right. she was saying like so um, yeah. you yeah, gotta go like see the yeah. person who's deceased I, I in the casket in the open casket so that's like the last she, memory that you have of them at least the last time you see them back for Luke, now which though. memory do you think is gonna stick in her head hardest how her sister looks after she fixed her or literally what she looked like before and all the traumatic shit that she went through she just had her hand inside of her fucking sister chest like i don't give a fuck if that's your regular job like, you shouldn't nah, have your hand inside of your sister's chest. right now and that's just me well yeah. maybe it's because it was like the time of the wedding uh maybe after she had gotcha oh. oh i uh i like that little kid actress that plays really too. Well, a good job. all the kid actors are doing a good job yeah, honestly, it's really good casting on all parts. Um, yeah. in general. Um, I said some really important stuff, Adult but and kid uh, I don't think you guys heard me, so Dustin will have to edit that one weird. What did you say? What'd you say? No. Uh, that she's going to remember her sister as like a corpse with a terrible looking face and having to open up her chest and pull out her organs and shit like that. And not like nah, remember her. Or, or organs. Because she said, she said you, this is important so that this is the last memory you have of your uh, family member. But like her, which memory you think is gonna oh, stick gosh. harder in her memory? What Nell looks like when she's all made up, hey. or what Nell looked like as a corpse? Yo, yo, yo! All right, so my camera just died. Ooh, oh. spooky! No. Check and see if it, the file got corrupted. All right, we right. got all. Yeah. We should be all right. Yeah, but most of all, we we got everything basically anyway. Last thing I was gonna say is like talking to your yeah. kids openly about death like that. I mean, like, I, I know I said it's, like, there is too young and stuff. I mean, there's, like, too open and whatever. It, it can be too open yeah. when it's at a certain age. Like, you want to, like, lay death on the I mean, if you have to, you have to. Uh, yeah. It, it was, it's, you got to navigate that carefully regardless. I don't think there's any right way to do it. But, I, yeah, definitely maybe don't yeah. show the body. <laughs> I'm not a parent, though, so, like, yeah. One day when I'm a parent, maybe I'll like be like, no, I get it. But for now, I'm like, yeah, oh my god, they're so young in their life, so they have to address it. Yeah, I remember when I was little, I had already been to like two funerals, and my uh, friend, her like grandpa died, and her mom asked me, she was like, like she took me aside, she was like, did you go to a funeral? And I was like, yeah, and she was like, like how did you deal with it? And I was like, I mean, I'm all right, I'm like fucking here, we're having this conversation, and I'm not like a wreck. And she was like, all right, I think I'm gonna take that. And I'm like. Yeah, man, I don't know. You just got to... Look, it's nature. It's natural. You can try to ignore it as much as you want, but that's not going to help the fucking situation. Like, it's a fucking yeah. fact of life, and you might as well learn oh, that no, when you can. Cause maybe to help your ass stay alive a little bit longer, too. I personally do not like open casket funerals. Yeah. I don't... I've never been to one, and I don't think I would go to that. You know, like, I would probably just, like, be there, but I wouldn't go to see... I've been the, to a couple. Whatever. Of, I, yeah, uh, that's definitely a personal. Decision. I just feel hey, very um, creeped out by that. And editor, put a picture of put a picture of Pat where his spot yeah. is because I think his audio is still recording. But um, yeah, I, uh, I think sh uh, Shirley like she <laughs> wanted to fix people. That's how she viewed it. So I don't think she'll like yeah. remember her sister as that. You know, because that was what she wanted to do. It's to, too traumatic, that, that was her cathartic. man. Catharsis. Yeah, it is when it's your when it's your own sister. But I guess that's that's how she is. She's she's kind of weird and messed up like that. Yeah. I I've been I like a. The, uh, <laughs> I, we all Whoa, we all paused because we started. Talking. <laughs> what were you gonna say, Serge? I was gonna say I do Hello. like the quote the mom said though about how you know we're all stories in the end and like yeah. when you're dead the last like, thing that's remembered of you is like yeah. what stories people have to tell about you. Um, well, I was gonna say that I've been a pallbearer twice. And it's fucking hard. Like emotionally, but also like mm. physically. What is it? The people that carry the casket. Oh. I think yeah. it's like hella heavy. I did carry my You my really can't fuck it up. Oh, definitely. I think I did my grandfather's, but I only did two uh, open caskets. And Pat, I don't know if you went you went to his funeral as well. Oh, yeah. Just briefly. Yeah, that was it open It was, casket. Uh, I didn't want to say his name, but I just case. I mean, that's okay. You can bleep it out if anything. But it doesn't yeah, like he out. was in a uh, an accident like a car accident and he, it didn't look like him at all like they, they did a good enough job to like put some body together to display it but it just did not even like look anything like him so that she did a pretty decent job for i guess what she had but i also am not i don't think i'm a fan of open caskets either because it seems like 
that's not how you should remember their face. Like, you should have no memory of your loved one's face or body like that, in my opinion. Yeah. That's just my opinion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah. It's a personal decision, like I said. It's, um... And you respect that decision, whoever it is. Yeah. Yep. Write out your funeral wishes now, boys and girls. Oh man. All right. So I hope you sent what your twerking video discussion. for. <laughs> man, this. Hey. This episode is scary. This is this is scary. Okay, I screen honestly. Whoever's editing this, zoom in to my uh, like two, three jump scares, cause like. There's a moment there where I'm like staring at the ground, breathing uh, heavily. I think it's more sad than it is scary. But yeah, okay. it is. It, this one was more sad. It's more sad. Are you yeah. serious? So I'm freaking yeah. out. Sad, You're like sad. The family is all busted up, and they're all going through their problems. They're not close anymore, and like. I guess that's sad. I'm just stuck on the scary. I'm not gonna. Well, all right, guys. Our audio fell off the edge of a cliff. Hello, so we is gotta, anybody there? Gotta wrap it up. I'm done. I was like, is I'm anybody out, there? Good Hello? Alright. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Thank you all so much for watching this terrifying episode of The Haunting of Hill House. We'd like to give a special shout out to our super patrons, Eleanor, Jesse, Joe Mags, Lauren, Luis, Michael, Mike, Nick Comfort, Ruby Tiger, Dangerous, Snuptop, and Quentin Martin. Thank you and have a wonderful day.